Good evening to all of you watching on our media channels. I bring greetings to you from our Bexley Church. How we are grateful to God for His faithfulness that fails not. Praise God. With the ongoing uncertain situations occurring around us, especially at this time here in the UK, it is my prayer that God will encourage every one of us and keep our faith strong and strong in Him. Just as we are rejoicing at the incremental easement of lockdown restrictions resulting in the opportunity to start returning to church again, the news of various local lockdowns including cities like Leicester, Aberdeen and Manchester started to surface. In fact, as we had a successful service at our Birmingham church with some of our local members in the Midlands in attendance, a similar webcast service has been planned to take place at our Manchester church to enable our members in that metropolis too to attend church. Then the news got to us of the local lockdown in Manchester. What a disappointing news. But we still trust God to bring something good out of it all. Since, as the writer of Ecclesiastes uh, uh, says in chapter 3, verse 11, he makes everything beautiful in his own time. God will not make any mistake. In all of these situations, it is important that we encourage ourselves in the Lord and focus our attention on Jesus, knowing that he is in control of all situations. If you have not read yet the most recent article from our Portland headquarters on four reasons to be of good chair by Sister Linda Spinas, I want to encourage you to do so. You will find the article inspirational, reassuring, and helpful in whatever situation you are going through right now. Keep praying, and Jesus will say to you too, be of good courage. Be not afraid. Matthew 14, 27. I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Because he overcame, so shall we by his grace in Jesus' name. Let us pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We praise you that in all the surrounding situations, all the imagined events and things that are happening, our anchor is still holding on you. Thank you, Jesus, for the assurance that you are with us, for the assurance that you are by our side, for the assurance that you will see us through this turbulent time. Glory and honor be unto your name. We pray, Lord Jesus, for anyone who may be going through any situation right now that the enemy may be saying is too much or is just um, uh, not something that you can do anything about, that you will send a word of encouragement to be of good cheer, that they should not be afraid, that they should have faith in you, that you are still in control. Do this for everyone, O oh Lord. Thank you for everything, for we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you again for watching. God bless you and bye for now.